Hello guys, in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to install SDL for code blocks uh, because some of you did have trouble and that's understandable because it is a lot harder to install SDL on code blocks than it is in Visual Studio. Now I can't unfortunately show you how to install it on code blocks uh, for Mac. I can only show you how to install it for Windows and the process is different. Uh, so I'll show it to you on Windows though if you're on Windows honestly I recommend you use Visual Studio anyway. Uh, first thing you're going to need for uh, your Windows installation is MinGW. Uh, this is a basically a tool set, and uh, SDL, the SDL uh, version that runs with code blocks needs MinGW. So we're going to go to do what you're going to want to do is go to the MinGW.org. I'll have the link in the description, and go to Downloads, uh, and then you will see a page with a bunch of stuff. You're going to go to Installer, uh, and then you're going to download. If my internet loads. Eventually, there we go, you're going to see MinGW get set up .exe. You download that and you run it and it should set everything up for you just fine. Hopefully it will. Uh, and then after that, what you want to do is come over here to SDL, uh, libsdl.org, I'll also put a link to this, and go to SDL 2.0 downloads. And now if you're on Windows and you're building for code blocks, you're going to want uh, this uh, SDL2 Devel 2.0.3 MinGW tar.gzip. And uh, in order to open a .tar.gzip, you need uh, like WinZip or WinRAR or something like that. You probably already have it, but if not, make sure you install that. Uh, if you're on Mac OS, you're going to download SDL2 2.0.3.dmg. Uh, you won't need MinGW, obviously, for Mac OS, but unfortunately I can't show you how to install this because I don't have a Mac machine available uh, to use. Uh, so you, you guys should be able to find tutorials online how to do this. Just Google download SDL Mac OS or something like that and you should uh, find some stuff. So you'll click on that and install it, and I have it on my desktop. As you can see, for some reason my computer organized my uh, my uh, desktop in this really weird fashion. Just ignore that. So take your SDL2 Devel thing and extract it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to yes to all. So I already have done this step, but I'm just going to do it again. So once you've extracted it all, it should be on a in a folder in your desktop called SDL2 Devel or whatever, wherever you extracted it to. Open this up, and the folder is empty. Oh, that's that's the wrong one. This is what happens when your desktop is too cluttered. So make sure you open the right folder, and you should see an include and a lib, and then a bunch of other crap that we don't actually need. That's good. So now we have the library. Let's go ahead and uh, make a C++ project. What is this doing? So I'm going to open up code blocks, like so. And it'll load eventually. There we go. And we're going to create a new project. And we're going to make an empty project, not a console application. We're going to hit go, hit next. Project title, I'll call mine graphics tutorials. And then hit next. Yes, GNU GCC is the one you want. Hit finish. All right, so now we have an empty project. We don't even have a main.cpp, so we need to go up here at the top right, file, new, file. And then we're going to click C slash C++ source. Going to click go. Click next, C++, yes. And the file name with full path, we're going to click this dot, 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 and it should open up our graphics tutorials directory. As you can see, mine is on the desktop, code block project, graphics tutorials. And here we're going to make main.cpp, and we're going to save it. Now let's make sure that looks right. Yes, it does. And we're going to hit, I'll go ahead and check both of these just for good measure, and then hit finish. So now we have main.cpp. Let's go ahead and include IO stream and int main. And then um, let's go ahead and uh, do something simple like uh, uh, std c out. Uh, let's do hello world. Just to make sure it works and then return zero. So let's run that. There we go, we got hello world. So now this is working. Now we need to actually set up our library. So let's uh, go to our desktop, at least for me it's my desktop. You're going to want to go to that folder uh, where it saved that main.cpp file. Uh, and mine is here somewhere. Uh, somewhere it is here. And I'm quite, quite blind. So I may not, here it is, code block project. So we're going to open that up, 
go to graphics tutorials or whatever you called it and you'll see all your stuff your main.cpp so let's back out one directory again uh, to this outer folder and we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it depths so d-e-p-s then we're going to open up depths and in here we're going to make a new folder new folder and we're going to call this one include and then we're going to make another new folder called lib inside the include folder we're going to make another folder and uh, this one we're going to call SDL. This is an optional folder. It's just a way to kind of organize your stuff. There we go. So we have those. Now we're going to go to that thing we extracted that we have open. Here we go with the include and lib. Uh, so here's the actual SDL library. We're going to go to this include folder on the right and then the SDL. And we're going to copy everything in the include folder here over to that. So all of the header files should go in this include SDL just like that. Then we're going to back out of that and go to lib and x86 and grab these three lib files, copy those, and then come back to depths lib and paste them there. We don't need the DLL yet. We're going to use that a little bit later. So we're going to minimize that and we're going to minimize this. Now we have the library installed on our computer. Now we just need to link it with our project. So uh, first thing we should do is go to settings, uh, compiler. This is our global settings, and you want to make sure this option here, have G++, follow the C++11 ISO C++ standard standard. You want to make sure that is checked. Uh, that's going to make sure we're using the most modern version of C++, which is C++11. Click OK. And then over here on the left, we're going to right-click on Graphics Tutorials and go to Build Options. And here's where we're going to actually link uh, the library. So first, go to Search Directories, and then for Compiler, we're going to Add... And then we're going to add a search directory. So we're going to hit the browse here. And what we're going to do is what the compiler needs is it needs the directory of all of our include files. So we're going to go to uh, the code block project, depths, include, and that's it. Yes, keep it as a relative path. So it'll do this dot dot slash depth slash include. That's cool. Uh, and then we're going to go to linker and we're going to hit add. And this time we're going to do the same thing except with instead of using the uh, lib files or the lib or the sorry, the include folder we're going to use the lib folder just like that yes keep as a relative path okay so now we have the include and the lib folder now go to linker settings and click add and we need to add three libraries that our program will use we need to add uh, min gw32 and you don't type dot lib with code blocks it's a little different than bc++ so we're going to click ok then we're going to add sdl capital SDL to main, and it has to be in this order, otherwise you'll get issues. And then we need to add SDL two. Yes, SDL two. So we have MinGW32, SDL two main, and SDL two. And that should be all we need. We have the search directories, linker settings. Don't think I missed anything. We're gonna get errors because there's actually a bug with SDL that we have to fix. I know this is really obnoxious, but once we're through with this, we will actually be able to start you know, using graphics. Of course, we do have to install glue still, but we will do that in the next tutorial. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to include SDL. So include SDL.h, and actually it seems to have already looked inside that SDL folder, so we don't have to type SDL slash SDL.h. I guess that's fine. Uh, so now we have sdl.h. Let's try to call sdl init sdl init everything, just like that. Let me zoom in. There we go. So you call sdl init, this initializes sdl, and you tell it you want to initialize everything. And then there we go. So let's go ahead and run this, and we should get like a whole bunch of errors. That's fine. Uh, oh, God. Oh, right, right. I think. All right, so in this, the parentheses here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to type int argc, comma, char double star argv, just like that. And this is going to allow SDL to call your main function. SDL actually defines its own main function. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, man, we're getting this really weird error. Type equals win32. Oh, I set it as an empty project, but I bet it um, it's still it's doing something weird. I'm going to have to pause the video and figure this out. Now you see the pain of compiling or of, of linking libraries. It's, it's Sometimes it's a really big pain, uh, but we can get through this together.
Okay, so I am not perfect and I do make mistakes. Uh, we're going to come over here to SDL2, uh, the, the thing we downloaded that had the include and lib. And these, are, these include and lib files are actually the Visual Studio versions. For some reason they are included, or they are included in the MinGW download. I'm not sure why, but they are. So what we're going to do is go here to this MinGW32 folder, and these are the include and lib uh, folders we want. So we're going to go SDL2, we're going to grab all of this, Control c go to our include, SDL, we're going to delete all of the ones that are here and replace them with uh, the new ones. And then we're going to go to the lib folder, and here we go, we're going to go to lib, and we're going to take all of these .a files, Control c uh, except the DLL, I don't think we need that. We're going to copy all of these, actually we'll go ahead and grab that for now, and we're going to paste them right here, and we're going to get rid of these three libs. So now, since this looks a little different, we're going to have to change the way it does the uh, linking. So let's go ahead and open up uh, our little, uh, what is it called, build options again. Uh, and we're going to go to linker settings. And instead of SDL2 main, it's called uh, lib SDL2 main. And instead of SDL2, it's lib SDL2. So we'll do that lib sdl2 main and lib sdl2 if you can't tell i'm also learning this as i go so we're going to click all right and we're going to run it and hopefully it's going to work there we go we're just missing uh, sdl2.dll we're going to press any key to continue so this is that dll file that we didn't use before however this dll looks a little different because it's a dot a file it's a it's like a library uh, so we're going to copy that it should work and we're going to Go to, so we have that copied, we're going to go to, here we are, graphics tutorials. We're going to go to bin, debug, and here you'll see graphics tutorials.exe. You're going to just paste it here, and this should work. Fingers crossed. Didn't work. Let's try copying, oh my god, isn't this such a nightmare, you guys? Let's try copying, um, which one? The, uh... For some reason, let's try copying this one, because it's asking for this DLL, it's not asking for the .a. Hopefully I don't have to compile the DLL myself. Not sure, I haven't done this before, so we're going to paste that. And there we go, it seems to work. I'm not sure if that DLL is the correct one, uh, but it's it seems to be working fine. I will poke around with this a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial here. Uh, if, if there's an issue with this, uh, let me know. And we will try to figure this out together. Uh, but this is probably the most painful part of programming is getting all these different libraries to work together. Uh, once we're through with this, uh, we have one more tutorial of this probably. Once we're through with this, we're going to actually move on to all the cool graphics stuff. Uh, the reason we have to do this, the reason we have to include all these li libraries and things is because this stuff isn't built into C++. We actually have to include it separately. We have to install it separately. Uh, if it was included in C++, then C++ would be absolutely huge. Uh, so thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope this was uh, pretty helpful for those of you on Windows using code blocks. If you're on Mac, remember to look at a different tutorial, though you're probably not still with us if you are on Mac. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.